what's up YouTube? I just got off work, so please excuse the fucking red and khaki, red and khaki type shit going on. But this is actually going to be the first, uh, I guess you could say, episode on this Behind the Beats series that I'm going to start. The red light on the fucking camera is so hypnotizing. But I'm basically going to be showing you step by step on what I do to make a beat. And this beat that I'm going to show you guys, I've been, I've had it in the stash for around a week. And I'm just kind of finishing it up now since what I do is I'll make like, a lot of beats, but I'll only make, say, like a minute long beat and not really lay it all out. But this one I'm actually going to finish up just for this video. If anyone wants to use it, just contact me through here. I'm a nice dude. Maybe throw me a little cash. It's whatever. But I do a lot of shit for free. If you're good at rapping. But yeah, let's get this started. Uh, so first things first, I'm going to show you the sample and this is exactly where I start off with the track. I always find the sick sample, and in this case, I got this one. What I like about this sample, I forgot where I found it from, but uh, it's got static coming off of it. Like it was just ripped from a vinyl. It's got a nice little, you know, groove to it. Just how I like my samples. So as you can see, all these uh, markers I got set up are all the chops that I did. And what I exactly did is lay them out on the MPD. Let me stop the sample. I laid them out on the MPD, which is uh, my best friend. Since basically, if I can lift this up, my... Uh, <laughs> I got the MPD, and on the program it's called the FPC. Sorry, I got that a little mixed up. But anyways, this is how I chopped it up. I got the... Ah. It's all uh, 16 pads right there. And after I chop up the sample, on how exactly I want to chop it. A lot of people do auto chop on FL Studio, but I'm a firm be believer that auto chop's kind of an easy way out, and you can actually use more of your creativity actually chopping up the sample exactly how you want it. Now, a lot of people chop from drum, like uh, kicks or snares. Uh, that's sometimes the case for me, but as you heard in the sample, there was no uh, kicks or snares going on. So I basically chopped parts. I kind of already built a melody in my head for it. So I chopped up the parts how exactly I wanted them chopped so I can play them back out. And then the next step I did was uh, make a drum track. And what I did is uh, before I let that play out, I got uh, I layer every single thing, my kicks usually up to two or three, snares usually three or four. I usually have a uh, couple hi-hats going on. I got a, a crash, my hi-hat, snare, and I actually uh, put a kind of like a delay effect on the snares, which you'll hear kind of how it kind of echoes throughout the entire drum track. Uh, just a little simple drums, you know. Yeah. Louder. And then, uh, for the drum track, blah, blah, blah. I laid out the sample, as you can see, on the, I used the MPD to lay it out, and I got a couple patterns. Let's see how that goes. After 
I usually uh, do the patterns. I work on the bass. You probably can't hear any of that. But what I did is basically uh, just lift up the bass from the sample. Nothing special. I'm still learning how to play out bass lines. So, you know, for the moment, I'm just going to be lifting it straight off the sample. Basically, after that, I just fine-tune everything. If you can uh, see right here, the little swing, I kind of adjusted that just to give everything kind of like a good groove to it. The hi-hats, I always uh, kind of offset. You hear producers like Jay Dilla or like Black Milk, they have that uh, kind of offbeat sound to their beats. And so I always put an offset on the hi-hats just to kind of give it that more uh, live sound, I guess you could say. And that's basically it. I mean, I was going to do a little bit more in-depth type shit, but... Right now, I'm probably going to do that later on, just because my PC, I was kind of going to do a, like video and video type shit, but I decided against it, just because my computer is kind of slow, and I know editing it would have been a bitch and a half. So I'm just going to stick to this, I hope you guys enjoyed it, uh, after this video ends, you're going to be able to hear the beat in its full entirety, so peace YouTube, and make sure you uh, subscribe if you like shit like this, or if you like uh, learning different type of shit, you know? about making beats, cause that's what I do. I flip pizzas and I make beats, bitch.